Am I the unreasonable one for how I reacted when I saw future mother-in-law's dress? I, F27, been with my fiancé M, 31. For three years, we are having our wedding on October 13th, and I've been so excited and nervous at the same time, it's very important to me and I've been praying for things to go smoothly. My future mother-in-law put some of her idea in the wedding since I'm new to this and have no experience as she says, getting her to work with my mom about the guest list has been a nightmare, she threw a fit why some of her family members still haven't received their invitations, it's worth noting that she invited enough people already, she fought with my fiancé when he announced the wedding date on his FB and said she wanted to do it herself we apologized and she just dropped it, my fiancé and I visits her house regularly and spend the weekends there. She told me she was going shopping to find a dress she can wear at our wedding, she informed me that she, her sister and her two nieces will going with her too, she called me after she went to the mall and told me she was excited to show me the dress she bought and told me to come over so I can see it. I went over to her house yesterday, we sat down for coffee then she went to bring the dress and came back with it, she pulled it out of the bag and all I saw was white, literally pure white, a white poor lace dress that almost looked like a wedding dress, I was too stunned to say anything. She asked for my opinion and went on about how much money she spent on it and what her nieces bought I kept staring at it and my hands were shaking while holding it. I couldn't stay quiet I asked her why she picked white, and she gave me a look and said that it was her favorite color, I figured that she realized that she shouldn't show up wearing white to a wedding, but just bought a white dress because she liked the color, I tried to explain that to her and she lashed out at me saying that she shouldn't consult me about what she wanted to wear, I asked if there were other colors available that she might want to replace it with, but she told me off and said that this is her style and told me to not try to dictate what she wears, I started getting upset, I talked to my fiancé, when he called her she was upset and told him to have his own opinions instead of parroting what I tell him and said mean things about me that, I'm not even family yet and was already taking over, no one in my family, there's a lot of females in my family with different styles, wants or plans on wearing white, but my mother-in-law wants to do that, and the fact that it almost looks exactly like a wedding dress freaks me out. She called after her conversation with my fiancé and told me that this is the dress she's going to wear, even posted it to her group and they liked it were excited to see her in it, absolutely awful she is making it about her and berated me for getting too involved in her privacy, and told me to drop it, we argued about this a few times and it still bothers me. Not the unreasonable one, tell her she isn't coming, she's literally a bully, she knows exactly what she's doing and she sounds like the mother-in-law from hell, I would literally uninvite her. Not the unreasonable one I am telling you now, uninvite her, she is already making this about herself and if you invite her she is gonna make the wedding about herself, avoid the drama and tell her this switch the dress or don't come to the wedding. Am I the unreasonable one for cursing and yelling at me mother-in-law because she told my wife to divorce me because I can't produce a child, for a while my wife and I had been planning to have kids, since we knew we were getting married we had decided that we would wait at least 5 years before we had a child, well the time came and we wanted to go ahead and try to have one, for months and months we had tried with no success, we finally decided to go to a specialist to get their opinions and advice on what to do, we figured out that I was infertile, a few weeks later we decided to break the news to our families, both sets of parents had been on us and wanting us to have kids so that they could have grandchildren, we told my parents first, then came telling her parents, I don't want to make mine sound far superior, but I've never really gotten along well with her parents, after breaking the news to them they were silent for a minute, Mill didn't look sad but instead looked angry, I finally spoke up to try to lighten the mood and talked about possibly adopting, she finally said I don't want no fake child, I want a blood child, y'all better not do that crap, I was silent the rest of the time really, my wife said a few things and we left shortly after, that night I heard my wife talking on the phone to her mom, I don't think she knew that I could hear the whole conversation, I heard her mom tell her that she needed to divorce me because I couldn't even be a man and reproduce properly, I cried a lot, my wife heard me and came to hug me, the next day I decided to call her mom, I wanted to try to do something to smooth over our relationship, I apologized for our disagreements and asked her if we could put stuff behind us, she said that she could never support a son-in-law that can't give her grandchildren, she said that she wished that my wife had made a better choice, I couldn't help it, but I started yelling and telling her that I feel like I'm a great husband and that if she wants to be this ugly that she can get out of our life, I was so heated that I did call her a few names as well. She hung up the phone before I was done, later that day she called and talked to my wife, after that my wife spoke to me and asked me why I did that. I tried to explain that I had called to improve things between us, but she instead wanted to criticize me, 
my wife admitted that she was of course upset with her mom, but that she still wants her in our life. She said that she didn't like that I called her mother names. She told me that she does feel bad for me and upset with everything, but that I was out of line for talking to her mother like that. She left and has went to stay with her brother while she tried to figure out how to sort things out between her mother and I. Am I the a-hole here? Not the unreasonable one, I mean, what century does Mill live in? Obviously Mill is the ah here, she said some pretty awful things so your response is totally understandable. Not sure what would help with your wife in this scenario though. I'm sorry. Also, other than talking to your wife to smooth things over, obviously. Not the unreasonable one, a person can only take so much. And you've tried to address a toxic mill lovingly when she has been pretty downright cruel. Your wife is TA for not shutting down her mother when she says anything demeaning about you, the prospect of adopting, etc. It's up to your wife to negotiate the boundaries, and some parents especially narcissistic ones do need to be cut off because there isn't a way to navigate maintaining a relationship and not be harmed by them. I'm sorry you're dealing with the news and now this. Am I the unreasonable one for wanting to back out of a Disney cruise my husband's family paid for at the last minute because or something my mother-in-law said about me to my kids? Background on this, I have never seen eye to eye with my mother-in-law. Mill also has a boyfriend who I don't care for either. It has been her dream to take my kids on a Disney cruise ever since they were born. We have had massive issues with her not caring about their safety. Most egregious example, she let my daughter ride on the dashboard yes the dashboard of her car on the highway going 80 miles per hour. Her excuse was she had so much fun, I couldn't help it. Dot. So I told her that if we could all go then maybe I would I consider it. Her boyfriend's mom died last year and he got like a small $30,000 inheritance and she talked him into spending it all on a Disney cruise for the entire family. Two of them, husband and I, two kids. I am going because everyone is excited, but I am dreading every single minute of it. I don't really like cruises. Disney is not my thing and we are going to be away from our business for about two weeks so getting back is going to be a nightmare. I was packing up last night and my now 8 year old came up to me and said grandma said we are going to push you over the railing on day 1 so the rest of us can have some fun. I was like whoa, I asked her what else she said and it was something like when you're drowning she's going to hook daddy up with a huge black lady who isn't such a snit about bad food. I immediately went to my husband and told him I was cancelling the trip. She has said things like this to my kids before so while it may not be an exact retelling, I know Bella didn't make this up. My husband is begging me not to cancel because he really needs the break from work. I told him fine, we'll take a two week camping trip or go to the beach. But for me being around his mom will be worse than work let alone she made a joke about murdering me. Kids are despondent that we might not go and now guilt is getting to me. Would I be the a-hole if I cancel this trip? Edit, I guess 4 hours since OP. Colin thank you for all the advice, from you guys this is my plan of action. 1. I, and we, are going on the cruise. 2. I'm going to far more fun than she ever could be, mom's going to ride ATVs and do the rock wall, her plan is just to stuff them with cake and candy. 3. I'm going to talk with whoever I need to to ensure that my husband and I are the only ones who can kids out of activities. 4. I'm going to thank her boyfriend profusely for paying for the trip. Edit, I forgot the most important part. My husband is on his way over to her house to talk to her in person that what she said is not okay and go over the rules for the trip. She's going to have a meltdown. But it's what she got by acting like a complete ass. Anything I'm missing? Edit 3. Lots of you asking what happened after my husband talked with her last night. This is a C and amp. P from a reply I made. She just head nodded him and cried last night doing her typical woe is me. I never meant anything by it I was just being funny like she always does. She's in for a real surprise when we get on the ship and her plans to have the kids sleep in her room and feed them awful food isn't going to happen. If it's allowed I'll certainly update when we get back. Not the unreasonable one. Your mother-in-law sounds like she has issues. Totally not appropriate to say to an 8 year old. Not the unreasonable one. However, during this cruise, Mill doesn't get to be alone with the kids. Ever. When you return. You sit down with Mill and tell her to knock that crepe off now or she's not seeing the kids again. Then follow through. It's absolute BS that she thinks it's okay to joke about stuff like that, especially to a child so young. Am I the unreasonable one for putting my foot down and not allowing my mother-in-law to come to Christmas? My mother-in-law is a horrible person who loves to create drama whenever she can. Last Christmas we got both of our kids different gifts as one was a 13-year-old girl and one is a 10-year-old boy. My Mill, mother-in-law decided to tell my daughter that she didn't get as many gifts as my brother and that we spent less on her, basically trying to get our daughter to believe that we loved her less. 
We then had to deal with a crying 13-year-old on Christmas. She has also brought super expensive gifts for people specifically to upstage everyone. She will even make a point of mentioning how much it is in front of people. She called up to ask what we will be doing for Christmas as it's our turn. I mentioned that me and my wife want to have a potluck at our place. She then proceeded to explain to me how we shouldn't let some family members cook certain food because of some instances where they screwed up and ruined the dish. This is all completely false information that she is mentioning to try and start some more family drama. I then decided to put my foot down and told my wife that I do not want her at our house starting drama on Christmas and that her phone call was the last straw. Wife is completely against it and thinks I'm being incredibly cruel to her mom, and doesn't want to exclude her. Edie, I have tried to talk to her and she doesn't care. Am I the unreasonable one for putting my foot down and not allowing my mother-in-law to come to Christmas? I think once you're in a marriage every decision has to be a joint one, even if that means one of you has to compromise. I think putting your foot down and ignoring how your wife feels about the situation is an unreasonable person move. You're not the offer not wanting your mill there. But you and your wife need to have better communication about this. Everyone sucks here. Not the unreasonable one, but you should expect more drama in the future by choosing not to invite her. Am I the unreasonable one for outing my friend's mother-in-law's profession as not real? I met my best friend's mill recently for the first time during a family dinner. I was warned that she was really into nutrition, but that she had no formal education and was self-taught. Backstory. I have my bachelors of science in nutrition. Mill was nice enough. About five minutes into our meal she starts talking about how she has started selling a supplement, juice based, and proceeds to hand me her freshly printed business card. It says she is a certified nutritionist, she doesn't know my educational background. Fact, there is no such thing as a certified nutritionist in fact the word nutritionist holds no meaning academically, anyone can claim this. If you want to see a professional, make sure they are a registered dietitian. I tried to change the subject several times, but when she said something along the lines of, I specialize in food intolerances and allergies I called her out. I told her calmly, in my regular speaking voice, the table could hear, that how she promoted herself was dangerous, and there was no such thing as a certified nutritionist. I added that she could be found liable if one of her patients had adverse effects due to her negligence. She is upset now and insists that I embarrassed her in front of her family. Should I have said nothing? or perhaps spoken to her in private? Am I the unreasonable one? There should be an option for not the a-hole, but learn some tact. That's my answer like 25% of the time. You're not the a-hole, but it probably would have been wiser to handle it a lot more gracefully. Not the unreasonable one. My mom is a registered dietitian, and she has also told me how dangerous it is to have people who say they're certified nutritionists handing out supplements when they have no formal education and aren't registered. You called her out, and while it wasn't the most graceful thing in the world, it's still what needed to be said. Subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more stories delivered to you. Thanks for listening. See you later.